Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. In this video, we will see what is the use of not null construction. Uh, by default, a column can hold null values. But if we assign not null constraint to a particular column, that uh, then it enforces a column to not accept null values. Mm. There can be many scenarios. You can consider a scenario in which there is a table called employee table which holds the information about employee working in a particular company or organization in which employee table has three columns let's say the first one is employee id name and third one is last name which is surname so surname cannot be null employee id will be a primary key so remember one thing Whenever you declare a primary key or assign primary key constraint to any of the column, then MySQL by default assign not null constraint to that because primary key cannot be null as we have seen earlier in our videos. So surname cannot be null. There has to be a surname. Employee must have a surname. So we can add constraint like not null to that particular column. As also if there is a column which holds the age of the employee then it cannot be null so let us see one example uh, first of all open MySQL workbench okay so we create one table create table the name of the table let's say employee First one is EID, which is employee ID. The second one is name. Where can let's say 40. The third one is last name. Where can also 30. Mm, now primary key which is in the case is EID okay now we want to assign not null constraint to last name then after specifying the data type simply write not null and execute this file refresh over here and you can see table is created EID name and last name if we want to see the structure then use describe here you can see null constraint and last name no it means that last name cannot be null let us insert some values insert into table name employee let's say values one id name and surname okay it is successfully inserted because we have provided all the values let me insert another record and this time i won't provide surname employee uh, in insert query uh, when we have talked about it uh, in our video earlier videos um, i told you that if you want to insert uh, values in only specific columns not all the columns then you have to explicitly provide the column names so I want to insert only ID and name values to name let's say mark and let us see what happened as you can see insert into employee ID values to mark error code 
okay one second eid sorry for that and insert again yeah you can see fill last name doesn't have a defined value it means that we have provide a uh, not null constraint to the last name and so we have to provide some content we cannot left it blank so this is how you can use not null constraint thanks for watching it